Okay, today we're stepping out of the usual phone headset uh, unboxing configuration and diving a little bit deeper, something a little bit more involved. Today we are taking a look at a Microsoft Teams room system. This is the Yealink MVC 800. I've got most of the components here. We've got everything present except the sound bar, as well as a couple optional pieces for the configuration. So I'm going to be taking you through piece by piece, taking a look at what each one is, taking a look at how they're all connected, uh, what plugs into what port, device to device, uh, and then also taking a look at logging in and setting up the actual M-Touch, the center of the room console, uh, from scratch. We're just using a Dell 32-inch monitor for our display. Uh, one of the cool things here is that we can actually have dual displays. I don't have that set up, I'm not gonna do that today, uh, but we'll show you where you plug that other display in. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we are at the initial setup screen on the M-Touch. So this display, uh, display uh, again, it's the center of room touch screen. It's got a little stand at the back to prop it up. Um, if we look down here, we can see where it actually connects. All right, and then if we go back here, we see we've got an audio jack as well, so we can connect a headset directly to uh, the device if need be. So here we are, main touchscreen. We are presented with our initial setup screen. I'm gonna tilt this because we get a little better resolution that way. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and say we accept the terms, click next. Now we got a number of things here. We've got our sign-in address, um, the exchange address is it's going to be the same as the sign-in address. Um, we've got a domain slash username, which is optional. We don't need that. Um, the supported meeting mode. This is something I'll change right here, right now. You can see we've got Skype for Business as our default with Microsoft Teams, or Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams as the default. Or Skype for business only. That middle option is the sweet spot for us. We want to enable those beaconing capabilities, that's the Bluetooth, and then we got a place for our password here and we can provide additional domains etc if needed which is not for our use case. I'm gonna pause the video while I populate all those fields. Okay now that we've got all the information entered we'll go ahead and click Next. We got a few options to choose from here. Do we want auto screen sharing? So when we plug a laptop in with HDMI to the M share component, which we'll show in a little bit, do we want this uh, screen to be automatically shared? Sure. We don't want to hide meeting names, dual monitor mode. Um, this will display across two monitors if we have them plugged in. Um, microphone for conferencing, so we can choose the microphones. You can see here we've got the UVC80 uh, setup, which is our uh, the actual um, the the PTZ camera, and so we can either choose that, which we've got our um, uh, we've got the microphones, the wireless microphones, right now going through the UVC, so that's probably what we want to use for our camera. Otherwise, we can have the microphone be a device through the M-Share screen capture or that headset through the uh, audio jack on the M-Touch. So we'll keep that as it is set now. Speaker for conferencing, default speaker the same. We're not gonna mess with logs. Click Next. Now we can choose a theme. There's our default, or we can go with Blue Wave, or we can go with Pixel Perfect. That's kind of cool. Let's go with uh, let's go with Pixel Perfect now. Uh, let's see, what's Dreamcatcher? Oh, I like that. All right, uh, it's a little crazy, but we'll we'll do that for now. Next. All right. So we're gonna click Finish to complete our setup. And there I am. We'll lay this back down, and everything is finishing setting up and logging in. Okay, we are now signed in. We've got our new theme set up. You can see that we have no meetings scheduled. Let's take a look at the other components and how they are set up. 
All right, let's start with the mini PC. Uh, the mini PC is exactly what it sounds like. It is the compute portion of where everything connects in, how everything knows to talk to each other in the MVC 800 setup. Uh, first off, right here in plain view, we've got a little uh, hole to use for Kensington locks. Uh, good stuff there. Um, I say just locks in general. You want to lock your uh, lock your devices up. We've got a number of ports on the back here. Most of these are plugged into at the moment. I'm not going to unplug it all, but we've got our power over here on the left. Uh, we got our first HDMI port, which is, has the uh, display plugged into it right now. We've got our Ethernet cable plugged in, and this is uh, plugged directly into a wireless router to give us internet access. And then we have two different uh, USB connections here. Uh, one of the USB connections is the PTZ camera. The other USB option is the M-Share. And the M-Share is what is used uh, to connect a laptop to the setup for desktop sharing, etc. And if we flip to the front, this connection up front, we've got two USB connections up here. This is going to our uh, M-Touch, the console that sits in the center of the table. And that is it. That is it for the mini PC. Now, something I want to call out about the mini PC, we have it just sitting on the table. There are a couple of good rubber grips on the bottom that keep it nice and steady. Uh, however, there are a few optional components that come with the mini PC. Uh, there is a metal, uh, a metal backing that can be put on the bottom so that you can easily mount this mini PC to the back of a display. There is also a plastic mini PC encasing that you can use to put the mini PC in, hide all the cables in for neat, clean cable management, and then mount wherever that we want to mount that plastic casing to. Uh, the underside of a table, the back of a display, wherever works best. For purposes of demoing and unboxing and all that, we are just going to show the mini PC as it sits on top of the table. Next up, the M-Share. Uh, fairly small, simple device here. It, uh, right here, as I mentioned, is connected into the mini PC. Uh, that, and then we can connect an HDMI or mini DP or USB all right here. Uh, you can use this mini U or the USB port to connect a WPP20, which is a wireless desktop sharing dongle. You can connect it there to pair it with the M-Share and then put the dongle onto your PC to share your desktop content. We're not gonna be going over that today, but there is the HDMI connection for sharing your desktop. Per the settings we selected earlier, if we have a laptop and we plug it in here, the desktop will be automatically shared to the display for the meeting room. And if there is a meeting, that desktop will then be displayed in the meeting. We have our camera on hand here, the PTZ camera, the UVC uh, 80. And as you can see at rest, the camera will point back down, giving the room some privacy, not looking out into the room. Uh, this is the front of the device here. Uh, we have red showing that we're not showing the camera right now. As we flip this thing around, we can see how things are set up and configured. All right, uh, we've got an audio out which is what we would normally connect to our sound bar. We do not have the sound bar with us today, so we will not be showing that. We've got a uh, line in, audio in here. We're not using that. And then we have a USB port here, which currently has a USB dongle plugged into it. This Yealink USB dongle is for the wireless microphones, which are these. So I've currently got the protective film on there still, haven't taken that off, but we are using those. We'll also show what this looks like a little bit later set up with the, um, the actual wired microphones as well. Next to this, we've got the uh, connection into the uh, uh, mini PC here, coming right out the middle. And then we've got our power over here as well. There is an ethernet cable uh, for microphone. If we, uh, that's for the wired my micro, uh, microphone connection. That's what we'll use for the other wired microphones. 
And then there is a uh, slot over here for a lock. This is a fairly expensive piece of equipment and we do not want it to go walking off out of a conference room. So that is the UVC-80. All right, these are the wireless speaker phone, uh, I'm sorry, wireless microphone options. Um, and as you can see, we have a, a dock that these just sit on and charge. So wireless charging. Uh, the dock is not currently plugged in, otherwise you'd see it blinking and lighting up as it was charging and all that good stuff. But this is what the dock looks like. It is a fairly thin form factor, uh, you know, sits somewhere inconspicuously in the room, doesn't look too bulky, etc. Um, and each of these microphones just sit there and charge. And then when you're ready to use them, you just take them out and set them where desired. And that is how you have a wireless microphone solution using the USB dongle on the back of the UVC-80 camera. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the VCM-34s. That is the wired microphone options. Uh, we just went over the wireless options a moment ago. We'll talk a little bit about how these are set up and connected. Uh, first, as you'll notice, there is a wire coming out the front and out the back. Uh, that is on this speaker or microphone. We take a look at this one down range here and you'll notice we only have a wire coming out of the back. The reason is, is that we have a single microphone connection going into the UVC-80 PTZ camera. That is coming off of this connection right here. Then the other microphone is looped into the chain via, we have them daisy chained if you will. Another connection comes out here and loops all the way around to that microphone. That is how we're connected. Let's take a quick look at how these plug in in the back. If we take a look at the back of them, you'll notice it's going right into the device. We don't have the, ex the uh, port exposed. So in order to get to the ports, we can carefully pry the cover off the back. There is a slot for the cord right here at the back. There's our port for the, uh, the main connection. Then if we're going to daisy chain them, there is a port right here. Plug the ethernet cable into that port, and then we have a slot at the front that we can run the cable through. Now, on the other device, you would notice there is no hole, there is no slot there, but there is a rubber piece. The rubber piece can be pulled out if you're going to use the daisy chaining option on that particular device. The cover just clips right back into place. Easy connection, easy setup. Set that down. Let's take a look at swapping this out for the connection on the PTZ camera. All right, we're at the PTZ camera. Turn this back around. Now we're not using the wireless microphones right now. We're gonna be using the wired microphones. We get rid of our USB dongle. So that goes with our wireless mics. We grab the ethernet cable for the microphone. We plug it in at the back of the PTZ camera. We immediately see that we're lighting up over here on the microphones. We are in business. They have power and they can now be used. And that is the setup of the entire system minus the sound bar. A couple things I'll point out. Like I mentioned earlier, there were a couple mounting options for the mini PC in the back. Now for the PTZ camera, there were a few mounting options as well. There is some hardware that comes with the camera uh, that allows you to mount either to the back of a monitor, um, and there's a couple different ways you can do that depending on the width of the monitor. You can mount the PTZ camera to the wall, and you can also mount to the ceiling. The quick start guide includes instructions for doing all of those. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and get a meeting created and take a look at the join experience and desktop share experience. Okay, bear with my audio. I'm gonna jump around to the front of the camera. I don't have a lapel mic on, so the audio will get a little bit distant, but we're gonna be demonstrating a couple things here. First, we've got a meeting on the agenda. We're gonna use one-click join to jump into that meeting. Next, we're going to take an HDMI cable and connect our laptop that we've got off to the left to the M share that is off on the right and it will automatically share our desktop into the meeting.
Okay, before we jump into a meeting, because I've got one up on the M-Touch display here, we've got our HDMI cable. We're going to connect to the laptop. And then we're gonna connect over to the M-Share. HDMI port. And there you have it. Desktop sharing immediately after connecting the HDMI cable through the M share to the mini PC and into the room system. Now we're gonna go ahead and join a meeting. We have a meeting up on our M touch. There we go. The MVC 800 test meeting, one click join. And boom, we are in the meeting. And in the meeting, our desktop is already being shared. We can stop sharing desktop there. We can do the, uh, we can turn off our camera. We can turn off video, uh, audio. Uh, there's a couple other things we'll change here as well. We can tweak the layout just a little bit. So we've got our uh, video down in the corner now with a smaller screen being shared, or we can share the whole screen. Let's go ahead and stop displaying the desktop. So now we are no longer displaying the desktop in the meeting, but we still see it in the room because we're connected via HDMI. I will unplug that connection. There we go. We are in the room. One thing I'll point out though is the camera controls. Before we wrap this video up, at the very bottom, bottom right, we've got these camera controls. Uh, Multi-directional, there's a reset button in the middle. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. Um, so let's go ahead and move the camera around. And then we go ahead and move it up and down. And we can reset, boom. There we go, that's our camera controls. And there you have it. That is the MVC 800. A brief overview of how it all connects and works together. A quick experience of joining a meeting, sharing desktop, and controlling the PTZ camera. I hope this has been informative. Hope it gives you a good overview of the system. And now you can just envision the system neatly displayed and staged in a beautiful conference room. Thank you. And if there's any questions or comments, please leave them in the YouTube video uh, description below or comments below. And we'll see you on the next video.